In this exercise, we are going to use the file Chapter 8, Energy Analysis Settings, from the Chapter 8 folder. From your Startup screen, click on Open and browse to your Chapter 8 folder. Click on Chapter 8, Energy Analysis Settings, and open the file. So before we actually perform any energy analysis, ideally we'd like to take the time to make sure the settings are correct. To take a look at this, click on the Analyze tab and then on Energy Settings. Here we can define the building type, its location, which we've already defined, but we have the option of defining it again, the ground plane, and what we want to do with some of the data regarding export, how we export that data, the project phase, as we might have phased the project, the sliver space tolerance, the overall building service, and the building construction. We will be looking at the building construction in more detail later on. We can also choose the infiltration class and whether we want to export default values and the type of report, whether it's simple, standard or detailed. For the energy model itself, we can define the core offset from the exterior of the building. Here it's set to 2 metres. If I change that value to 4 metres and click on OK, we should see the core extended further into the building. Let's just reset that. Whether we want to divide the perimeter zones, by default this is checked to on. You can see here in the mass model that we have the perimeter zones divided into different sections. And checking this gives us one perimeter zone. We can also choose the conceptual constructions. So where we have an exterior wall, in general, the construction method will be lightweight construction, and so on. We can adjust a target percentage glazing for the overall building. Here we've got it set at 40%. Our target sill height and whether the glazing is shaded or not. Currently in the model, the glazing is unshaded. If we place a tick in this box, we're then able to define the shade depth. If I click on OK here, you can now see the shading elements on the energy analysis model. We can also define whether we have a target percentage for skylights and the skylight width and depth. But as with the option for shaded glazing, the skylight width and depth is only available if we change the skylights to greater than 0%. We can also choose the building operating schedule. what type of HVAC system we're using, and the outdoor air information. Each time you adjust the figures and locations in this dialog box, once you click on OK, you really want to run the energy simulation again. 